today's video is gonna be really fun. We're gonna test out body wash slime, and a lot of people have been really into making slime without using liquid starch. And this video by Cheeks XO3, she's actually somebody I talked to on Instagram. I really liked her video, I liked the idea, and I really wanted to test it out to see if the body wash that I picked up would actually work with her method. So for her video, she actually decided to use a pinch of baking soda to make slime. And honestly guys, I had no idea that you could put baking soda and body wash together and somewhat come up with slime. So I thought it was really interesting and I decided to try it myself. And I want to let you guys know, make sure you only use a pinch of baking soda. Don't put too much at first. If you need more, you could always add it later. First round of body wash, I don't feel like any of them actually really stood out to me. As a matter of fact, I feel like all of them were a big fail in my opinion and it could be because they're the creamy body wash but I put it in my freezer for 5 minutes to see what happens and then I decided to work on the next set of body wash. Now I think these body wash might do better just because they're not the creamy kind and they're clear and jelly like and I think they will do much better than the first round. For this next round of body wash, I feel like it's doing much better than the first round. As you can see, it's starting to resemble slime a little bit, especially the Equate version for whatever reason is actually doing the best out of this entire group and I know that sometimes even less expensive stuff could actually become better just like I did in my toothpaste slime. Um, the cheapest toothpaste actually works just as good as like a really expensive toothpaste if not better. And this is kind of like the same thing. It surprised me that the Equate one was actually the best one out of this group. And in her video, she said that you do need to freeze it about 5 minutes, 7 minutes, even 10 minutes. I just decided to put it in the freezer for 5 minutes and we'll see what happens. So after about 5 minutes, I took out the first batch. Remember that I put it in the freezer and I wanted to see if it was going to do better. But honestly, I don't feel like it's doing better. It's actually doing worse, if anything. And it's not really coming together. And as you can see, it's sticking to my fingers. And that's something you definitely don't want if you're making slime. You don't want slime to be sticking to your hands that much. And this first group was a total fail to me. The second group, I decided to stir it after 5 minutes as well. And this is when it comes out of the freezer. It's still not really good enough. Um, it's still sticky. And even if I would have put it in the freezer for longer, I still feel like it's going to happen. So I don't feel like this first one was good. The Quaid one had the most potential in making slime. I had very high hopes for this one. And as you can see, it's a little bit better than the other two, but still somewhat sticky. And then this last one is just like, eh, it's not really that great. So I think what I'm going to do is take the Equate one and make a bigger batch out of it because maybe it's just not enough. So we'll see what happens. So after mixing a little bit, I decided to add another pinch of baking soda and continue mixing. And I feel like this Equate Slime has a lot of potential, so I'm going to add a little bit of glitter to make it pretty and dolled up and now that you guys can see it better. I feel like that it's a good sign when you see slime to start to coming apart. And definitely I wanted to put it in the freezer for longer than the other slime because it's still kind of sticking to my fingers at this point. So instead of putting it for 5 minutes like the first couple batches, I'm gonna go ahead and set it for nine minutes and see what happens now after about nine minutes I took it out the freezer and this is what it looks like as you can see all the pieces are coming together and that's a good sign because that means they're not sticking to each other and more than likely it may not stick your hands now I don't feel like body wash slime 
is the best way to make slime if you want to play with it but I think this might be literally the best body wash slime as like as far as body wash slime goes this might be the best that it's ever going to be um, it's still going to be somewhat sticky but you can still play with it a little bit it kind of feels like playing with like jello slime maybe so I think it came out pretty good uh, definitely the method does work but it definitely depends on what body wash you pick up from the store alright guys that is the end of the video thank you for sticking to the end so I'll see you guys in my next video and hopefully you guys have an awesome day